A piece of Governor Walker's budget proposal has a lot of people talking. The governor wants to spend millions of taxpayer dollars to allow special needs students to attend private school or a different public school. Fox 11's Alex Ranallo has balanced coverage. Stop Special Needs Vouchers is a group of Wisconsin parents lobbying against Governor Walker's idea of putting $21 million into special needs school vouchers. Mary Swifka has a son with special needs. Swifka says he's doing very well at his public school. She's against vouchers because she says unlike public schools, private schools do not need to adhere to the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. The right to special education teachers and therapists, which private schools are not required to have on staff. Other parents disagree, saying most private schools are held to similar standards. I very much am in support of this because it actually um, puts the parent back in charge. We know our children best. Aaron Barris has a son with autism. She says he is not getting the education he needs at his current school, but she can't afford to put him in private school and says he would likely be rejected from open enrollment. So then we're left with what do you do? Uh, parents, basically, they don't have any options. We run out. I mean, the only thing that I'm told to do next is, well, you have to move. Democratic State Representative Penny Bernard Shaber is campaigning against the special needs vouchers, as is Republican State Senator Mike Ellis. The lawmakers say the vouchers would take money out of public education and actually hurt the special needs programs at those schools. When you take kids out of the school, you still have to spend the same amount of money even though that child is no longer there. But Terry Brown with Wisconsin School Choice says the governor's budget only allows for 5% of special needs students in the state to get vouchers. The limit that is on the program is unlikely to drastically affect any district and, and in the end this really isn't about districts, this is about uh, parents and their children. Swifka says regardless, the vouchers are not the answer. Currently, special education funding is woefully underfunded. We need the state to step up and we need the feds to step up too. In Nina, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. Governor Walker's office released this statement in response to the issue. In it, he said the scholarships will give families freedom to choose alternatives for their children because every child deserves access to a great education.